Okay, you guys, I hate when that happens. Sometimes it does happen. I have not yet figured out why. Um, maybe it was my cachet, you know, like too much uh, media on my iPad. I don't know. So uh, let's finish the second pile. I was just uh, talking about my artistic talent. <laughs> maybe this was the universe's way to tell me to not talk about myself so much. Sorry <laughs> if I was kind of, you know, like blowing my own trumpet. I just wanted to give you an example how this person sees you and this is uh, you know like at the end of the day of this is the question right how does this person sees you maybe this person sees a lot of potential that you have not yet discovered yourself okay we were talking about the Sun card here that was the ending of part one this is uh, now the second part and the ending of pile number two people everyone who have chosen pile number two so to cut it short um, with the Sun this is a beautiful card to get Really, I'm not kidding you, and you know me, I'm very blunt, I'm very straightforward, I am not sugarcoating anything, never ever, okay? And then, you know, like with the male person here, the main person in the Lenormand card, these are Lenormand cards once again, I do see, I mean, how can I interpret this card? I mean, how else could I interpret the card as to say, this person sees you as a potential love partner? This person sees himself as your boyfriend, maybe one day even your, your husband, right? I mean, you know, like with this talking about marriage and wedding and engagement, I am a little bit cautious because I know that for some of you, you are asking for a crush, nothing else. Some of you, you don't even really know this person you are asking about. And this is why you come to those pick a card readings. As I said in the intro, for some of you, this is only entertainment. This is only for fun, okay? So this is why I am a little bit cautious when it comes to things like, uh, you know, like getting married, getting engaged. I think this is um, not the right time to speak about stuff like that. But still, nevertheless, there is potential for sure. If someone sees you as the sun uh, itself, right? As such a glamorous person, uh, such a radiant person, you know, like full of light, full of power. I mean, fire, sun, enlightenment, clarity. And this is how this person sees you. This person sees that you have a lot of potential within yourself, uh, that you may have not... Uh, discovered for yourself, right? Uh, this person could be a mentor for you, by the way, I'm hearing, right? Um, not only a love partner, but also a mentor, right? Someone who is a, a guide, someone who is guiding you uh, to move forward, right? Someone who's helping you to discover all your potential, right? And yeah, phew, what, what should I say? This is how this person sees you. This is how the cards uh, came out. So let's now have a look, as beautiful as those cards have been, um, what's coming, right? What's about to come in the nearest future? We do have the Get Help from Friends card and then also um, the card uh, eight of Swords. And um, this is quite interesting, isn't it? Somehow this person might feel a little bit um, tied up. Maybe this person sees you in such a high light that he is even afraid to pursue you. Right? Um, and this is why we do have the Eight of Swords. I mean, look at the person here. This person is tied up. This person is blindfolded. This person has been through a lot of pain, emotional wounds. Every sword, every Eight of the Swords is standing for a emotional disappointment in the past. I mean, the older you are, the more disappointment there are, right? This is for every one of us. Um, so this is maybe why this person is a little bit guarded right and a little bit timid this person is maybe not even showing you uh, how much they like you not at least in the nearest future okay and maybe this reading is at least helping you to not give up the hope because it, even if this person is wearing a poker face but still believe me with those cards 
this person likes you, this person sees you once again, I can only repeat myself, in a very, very high light. And with the Get Help From Friends cards, I have to remember the mice that we had before. I was talking about group activities, right? I was talking about a team. And maybe this person is using friends or a team of whatsoever, I don't know, you know, like in whatsoever way to pursue you or to be around you at least. What I said before, you know, like being active when it comes to sports or maybe you both do uh, salsa or sumba or yoga or you meet once a week in a I don't know, drawing lesson, you know, maybe you go to evening school and this is where you meet regularly or I don't know, maybe you know each other from work also. I mean, group could also be colleagues, the team that you are working with, things like that. So for me, this sounds like that this person is very guarded still. This person has feelings for you for sure. But this is the reason, as beautiful as it is to know that this person has feelings, the problem is, the flip side is, that this person is, uh, yeah, a little bit too afraid to pursue you because of his feelings, right? This, yeah, and this is just how it is. I mean, sometimes it's like that, right? So um, you may want to blink an eye or two on this person if you feel drawn to do so. Only if you feel drawn to do so. I mean, don't offer yourself, right? Don't sell yourself below price. If you feel that this is not the right way to, to, have, to do, then don't do it, right? Wait. Because I think sooner or later, this person will loosen up. This person will see um, a good um, possibility to, to step forward, okay? Maybe with the friends, uh, with the help of friends. And this is where friends are for, so it's not the baddest thing, right? To maybe even be friends first before you become lovers. For you, pile number two, I would like, I haven't uh, done that for pile number one people, so please don't tell them, but for you, um, I would like to get one final oracle card about this person and about the potential of this relationship, about this situation, pile number two. Only for you, one final oracle card. And then we're done. Pile number two. Is there anything else we need to know? Yes, yeah, support. Wow. Yeah, as I said, friends, teamwork, being a mentor. I said that before, haven't I? I said this person could be a mentor. This person could be a guide for you, right? This person is supporting you for sure. There's this, uh, 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 yeah, this has to do with group activities. This has to do with being creative. Uh, and there, this person is someone who can support you and uh, or you can maybe even support this person as well. Maybe support this person to lose their fears and to loosen up, right? Maybe you can support this person to get over their um, disappointments and their wounds that they are still carrying around from the past. This is very interesting here, very, very interesting. So you, you too can support yourselves, right? Uh, it's giving and taking in a balanced way. Do you, do you know what I want to say? It's not only that this person can be um, a mentor for you, but you can also be uh, a mentor for this person. And this way, you know, like it's a win-win situation for both of you. And I think this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. And here, you know, like with those polar beers, it's all white. So again, it speaks of clarity, enlightenment, finding the right solution, finally. So I really, really like this reading. I'm very happy that I did it spontaneously. Sorry for the little cut and for the break, pile number two. Um, and yeah, this is it. I think I leave it here. Hope I could help you. Could I hope I could give you a little bit guidance. And I'm wishing you a wonderful week, a wonderful day, evening, night, whenever you are listening to my reading here. And hope to see you soon once again. Namaste, you guys. Namaste.